not helping out not being part of the team and doing something new they haven't tried before like yoga. I love the bit of beer helping. Help out the people on the bikes. Well a good time. When we started Project 49 about three and a half years ago, it became very apparent to us that we wanted to help people increase their independence and obviously uh, improve their health and well-being. We worked very closely with SEPT um, towards these goals and we held two exhibitions here at Project 49, but this year it had outgrown this building, so we went to South End Leisure and Tennis Centre uh, where we would be able to show kind of good work that we do and that happens within uh, SEPT to help promote people's health. Preparation for the day yeah, was, was immense really. We, we started a long time ago, we managed to call in lots of favours. Uh, we had lots of people here involved, we were planning down to have the most minute detail to make sure that the day went really, really well. Um, it became a bit of a joke actually at all our meetings and how long it would take for me to mention the big health day and there was a sweepstake on the go. And, well, it was normally pretty quick if I, you know, when I started talking about it. And then on the day, it was all about putting it into place. The planning, it worked perfectly. Uh, we'd planned out the stalls, the, uh, everybody's roles within the day, and that included everybody who attended here. Uh, we had a programme of events. We, um, it really did go to show that the amount of time and effort that we put into planning was worth it. Learning disability nurses became involved in this project because on average, adults with learning disabilities die 17 years sooner than the general population. They tend not to access GP surgeries, hospital services or any screening services as well. I'm very excited by the idea of this event and we wanted to ca capture as many people as possible within the local community. So we had 300 leaflets printed, we had another 100 posters leaflet and we visited every GP surgery in South End and asked them to display them. Um, we visited day centres, we posted leaflets out to homes and we posted leaflets out to, to people that live on their own who we know in the community as well. We had more stall holders this year than ever before and we covered the head to toe well. On the day we had a health passport challenge. This allowed participants to, to visit all of 35 stands with the challenge book and go up to each stand and when the start stall holders talked to them about the, the problems, then they were given a sticker. When they received enough stickers to fill a book, then they were given a healthy food bag. This enabled people to, to interact with the stall holders, whereas some people just walked straight past. Well as the health stalls, we had lots of interactive sessions. We wanted to make the day as fun and as full as possible, uh, so everybody could join in. We had lots of things. I mean, starting outside, we had the Just Ride uh, cycling activities on the athletics track. This is an all-inclusive cycling club that we've been instrumental in the starting of and we also run on a weekly basis. Uh, inside we had a whole activity area set aside. We had um, yoga sessions both seated and on the floor so that to give people uh, an experience of that. We had um, we worked with companies such as Simply Stride. They went out and they, they use yoga based techniques to encourage people to uh, walk in the correct manner. We, we have our, our ladies' dance session, which is based around um, using dance as a, an avenue for fitness and creativity. The stall, which had a smoothie bike on it, uh, this is where people can go along and use their own power to make their own um, healthy drinks. Um, that, that was really popular, and it was good to see the mayor taking part in that. Uh, we had a demonstration, a fantastic demonstration, actually, from the Capoeira. Uh, group and that's a Brazilian martial arts. On the, on the stage we had the jump up and join in session which um, is based around the open mic session that we run at the, a local pub, the Railway Hotel. Uh, we, we hold that on the first Friday of every month. Sarah Haynes approached us with regards to doing a hospital uniform fashion show and we thought this was a really good idea because it gives people the insight of what uniforms look like if and when they need to visit Southern Hospital. Service users from Project 49 were keen to get involved in the hospital fashion show. There were lots of preparations and rehearsals. Sarah collected all the different outfits from South End Hospital and devised a script for two of the service users to read out during the show. The actors and actresses rehearsed every week with Sarah and on the day of the fashion show it was a complete success. Oh, 
I enjoyed the dancing group last week. Dirty. <laughs> it was so brilliant when we done in the fashion show with Sarah Haynes. It was just brilliant. Everyone did loads of stalls, me doing a lovely fashion show. Fart wise, uh, dancing and photo show and cheering. <laughs>